I canceled my TELUS contract for the end of my billing cycle and the point of me signing off wasn't solely due to their support of the incoming carbon tax that Justin Trudeau has promised to Canadians. Although I think this tax is a terrible, controversial and unfounded policy and idea, it was TELUS's political partisanship, their virtue signaling and double standards that drove me away. They rely heavily on the mining of rare earth elements, oil and gas and employ people in third world countries that don't even have a carbon tax while lecturing us on how to live our lives. And this is only a scratch on the surface. They've been doing this stuff for quite some time and I just didn't notice it. I was indifferent until they sent a tweet out endorsing two politicians. And with some cursory research and a quick search on Twitter, I found this tweet telling us what to eat, going meatless. I had no idea that TELUS was in the nutrition business. In fact, if you take a look at their blog, only a small fraction of the content is about their services or products at all. It presents more like a copy of Chatelaine magazine where you'll find tips on anything from healthy living to International Women's Day to defining real beauty. You never know who TELUS will become when they're playing dress up in an attempt to hide who they really are on any given day. Honestly, I think they use those cute little animals to divert our attention. Who doesn't love cute little baby animals? The problem with all of these things is that we're not asking TELUS to judge our lifestyles and tell us how to live. We want them to provide us with cell phone service, period. And I know that there are a lot of other companies that support this carbon tax too. Why am I not cancelling with them? Well, it's pretty simple. They're not hypocrites that publicly endorse politicians and virtue signal using my money. Those are the reasons I cancelled my TELUS contract and I'll be switching to another service provider at the end of the month. A lot of people have been asking me who to switch to, but honestly, that's all relative and depends on your preferences. Some companies support issues and causes that you might not agree with, and that's your choice to make. And I'm not going to endorse any particular company here. It's basically just a matter of picking and choosing the lesser of all evils. But I will tell you one thing. The main reason I did choose my new provider is because they're going to save me 50 bucks a month. And that's going to soften the blow when Rachel Notley's guilt carbon tax hits us right here in Alberta on January 1st, 2017. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Speaking of TELUS supporting the carbon tax, have you had a chance to check out canceltelus.ca? Click the link below and sign our petition to send the message that we're not willing to pay for a company to virtue signal on our behalf.